surface, but he's better than last night. I think he likes me. You don't have to whisper. Oh, what a contraption. Does Manfred really think he can fly it? Where do you think he's from? Germany. I mean Black Beauty. <laughs> well, I expect one of the older stallions tried to force him out of the herd. There's some teeth marks on his flank and a rope mark. Somebody's tried to tame him. There'll be no more rope marks. Come on, breakfast. He'll still be here when you get back. We must get our stock back. We certainly can't afford to replace it. Grandfather would send us the money. Shall I write to him? This is our problem, not his. <laughs> sit down, please. I make some breakfast. Oh, please, sit down. from the next farm. Please eat. Is this a colonial recipe of some sort? It is toast. Oh. Thank you, Manfred. All this is wonderful. That is good. Now I will go repair the roof. <laughs> that should stop the leak for some time. Thank you, Matthew. Colin is teaching me to be practical. <laughs> ah, it's a nice place to try new things. Like your flying machine. Have you ever flown? No, not yet. But I will. It is not a dream. I'm sure it's not. Lead him up and down a few times. Let him get to know you. Manfred's nice, isn't he? You should ask him to stay. We do need someone. And what do we pay him with? Fresh air? didn't you? Vicky? Yes? If you try to ride an unbroken horse, you'll be flying through the air long before Manfred does. I will be able to ride Beauty soon, though, won't I? In time. You get better results with patience. Talk to him. See if Mr. Burton can add these to our order. You know, Burton knew we had nothing at the farm. He took our money and probably hoped we wouldn't come back. You don't know that. 
so be polite to him. Can I be a bit rude? No! Go on. Constable Carmody. I'm Mrs. Denning. Yes, ma'am. How can I be of assistance to you? Well, I think first, perhaps I can be of assistance to you. He's poisoned, Missy. Him and the others. I thought the uh, veterinary could have a look at him. The veterinary? Mr. Burton. He does for us around here. Is he qualified? No, but he's all there is. Over there is a fully qualified veterinary surgeon with letters after a name. Some hens and a goose. I'll inquire into it. If you would. Thank you. Shop. Well? This is a list of extra goods we need. You'll be glad to know we're staying. I'll attend to it. Hello, I'm Vicky Denny. I'm Hilda Burton. I'm here with my stepmother. She's a fully qualified veterinary surgeon. Was it four bars of soap you wanted? Lead poisoning, I think. Don't ever have paintwork in the barn. They lick it and something like this happens. Can you do something? I'll be over this afternoon with some magnesium sulfate. Thank you, ma'am. There's some quack around here masquerading as a veterinarian. Mm. Honestly, there ought to be a law about... Oh? Mm. Ah. Is there anything else we need, Vicky? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? get a bag of those things. It might come in useful. <laughs> What's that stuff you're going to give the cow? Magnesium sulfate. Hmm. More commonly known as Epsom salts. <laughs> about six miles down the road from you. I run horses. Oh, well, I'm a veterinary surgeon, and I specialize in horses. A woman veterinary? Yes, a woman veterinary. You like horses, young lady? Yes, I do. So do I. Well, I'll be seeing you. Hope to be seeing you, Mr. Coates. very fast. I tried to stop him, but he got through the broken fence. I didn't see him again. He's half wild, Manfred. The slightest thing will scare him. You should have been more careful. He's a wild horse, Vicky. There was every chance something like this would happen. We have to go after him now. We can't. Why not? 
Perhaps you'd like to clean yourself up, Manfred. If he's running, he might snag himself on that rope. He'll stop running soon enough, and he's well able to take care of himself. Jenny, we've got to go and look for him now. Please. No, I have to make that call now. Just one hour. In one hour, those calves will be suffering from lead poisoning. They may die, and then the farmer will have lost his livelihood. But th if I let him down, we'll be finished before we start. Surely you can see that. I can go by myself. No. If you didn't find him, you'd be out all night. I'll take Manfred. Manfred can't ride. I'll be back before dark. You will not go out looking for Black Beauty alone. Is that understood? I'm sorry. If my flying machine was ready, I could find it very quickly. Well, it's not ready, and I don't care about your stupid flying machine. I want to find my horse. I'm sorry. I just want to be out looking for him. Why can't you ride, Manfred? Every time I get on a horse, the horse asks me to get off. So I ride this. You've got a bicycle. Yes. Then I won't have to go alone. It'll be all right. Come on, I'll settle up. I think, Mrs. Denning, she said you were... She said I wasn't to go alone. I'm not alone now. Manfred, come on. You go over that hill. That's very wild country. New farms now. Not so wild. Shall we leave this, yes? No. <laughs> He'll go all the way down. So will you.
lead the horse. He doesn't want to be led. I tried to tame him, Manfred, and he broke loose. I nearly killed him. That was my fault. If he wants to come, he will. He found us once. Did I do the right thing, Manfred? Yes, you did the right thing. Black Beauty. He's not ready. Yes, he is. I do not like this, Vicky. Somebody's tried to ride him and used a whip to keep in the saddle. I won't use a whip. He does not know that. He will. And when he does, he'll trust me. Won't you, Beauty? He is not tame. I don't want to tame horse men, but... Ready, boy? Steady. Come, boy. Steady. 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 Steady, boy. Come on. Steady. Steady. Steady, boy. Steady. Come, boy. Good boy. Stand up. Steady. Steady, boy. Come on. Stand up. I think he likes you. <laughs> you and I are going to be very good friends, Beauty. I think explanations are in order. In the house. This is a strange land for me. If you hadn't come back, I wouldn't have known where to start looking for you. There are going to be more days like this, and I have to know that I can trust you. I know it was wrong, but I wanted to find beauty more than anything. That's not good enough. I'm responsible for you. And I care about you. Would you have done this to your father? What would have happened if he'd come back and found you missing? Will he come back? Oh, Vicky. I don't know. But if he does, I want him to find us together. I want him to come home to a family. I'm sorry. I won't disobey you again. I know you won't. I remember you, Mr. Clarence. How can I be of help? No, oh, easy enough. You give me back my horse. What? The black one. No, he's ours. He's mine, and I want him back. No! Have you any proof? No. 
I certainly do. He's mine. He's mine and I want him back now. No! You can't! 